Living up to a family legacy isn't light work, but there are a couple of special players on Arizona State's football team that aren't pinned back by it. Cronkite News reporter Matthew Roy has more on the two ASU dynasties being continued this season. Thank you, Jordan. For many, living up to the family name isn't easy. But for two ASU football special teamers, being a legacy leg just comes with the territory. As a 64-yard punt launched off the leg of Michael Turk in his first game for ASU, coaches knew they had a lethal weapon on their hands. He's a talented player and he has a good background with punting, obviously, with his bloodline, and, and, uh, and he's an outstanding young man. What bloodlines? Well, the legs are strong with the Turk family. Michael's brother Ben punted at Notre Dame, and his uncle Matt punted in the NFL for 17 seasons. Well, you know, I can't say enough about how they've helped me, obviously, with my punting, and, you know, I lived with my uncle in high school, so just uh, both of them are kind of, I look up to both of them as, you know, almost like guardian figures. Michael took a year off after high school to train with his uncle and learn how to punt from a pro. Michael eventually earned a spot at Lafayette College, where he had a breakout season. Matt made many connections during his time in the NFL, two of which are on ASU's coaching staff. He played for now ASU coach Herm Edwards and was in the NFL at the same time as Slocum. So when Michael was looking for a bigger opportunity, Matt reached out to an old friend. When Matt called me and said, hey, I've got my nephew, he's a pretty good punter, I'd like you to take a look at him, that's where it all began. Michael transferred to ASU but had to redshirt his sophomore season due to NCAA rules. During that time, he fine-tuned his craft, and when it was time to take the field again, he was ready. Michael was named the Pac-12 Special Teams Player of the Week after his ASU debut, where he averaged 63 yards per punt on five attempts, shattering the NCAA record. Michael's family has helped him prepare for these big moments, but it's up to him to perform. Our family, you know, we're blessed to have them, but we're going to have to go out on the field and, and, you know, do our own thing. Turk says he doesn't feel the pressure of his preseason recognitions or his family name. His only focus is having a consistent season for the Sun Devils. However, he isn't the only legacy leg on this team. For more on that, let's kick it over to Matt Roy. The names in Dejas is all over the ASU facility. Louis in the house, that is. The legendary Sun Devil was the greatest kicker in ASU history until all of his records got broken just a few years ago. Now, his son Christian is trying to make his own way in an ASU uniform. They actually never pushed me into even kicking. I played soccer my entire life, probably for the past 10 years. Just made my way that way. My dad helped me every step of the way. While there was no pressure to play football, Luis was concerned about the effect his ASU legacy might have on his son. But yes, I was worried that that would probably make him try too hard to do something because of the name, not so much because of Christian. He just loves the football and the football family. And then the rest is like, Dad, I'm not going anywhere else by ASU. That's, that's, that's my son, that's, he's, always, he's always known. Christian walked onto ASU in 2017 and has served as the backup kicker for two seasons. Now in his third year, Christian is getting his shot because starting kicker Brandon Reese went down with an injury before the first game. You never know how a young man's going to respond until he gets in a moment. Christian responded by not missing a single kick through the first three weeks and earning Pac-12 Special Teams Player of the Week honors after the second game. I'm not surprised. I mean, he works extremely hard and has got a great foundation for what he's doing. I might mean, just put my head down and worked, and then opportunity came. I've been waiting for the last three years. I'm excited. I'm in the getting. I'm in the getting. After all of his hard work, Christian was recently awarded a full scholarship. He loves the coaches, loves the coaches, loves the trainers, loves everything about ASU, that when you have that, he's home. That's what I feel like, he's home. In Tempe, I'm Matthew Roy. And I'm Brady King. Cronkite News. Turk and Zendejas are both just red shirt sophomores so ASU football fans can look forward to more booming kicks for years to come. In the Media Center, Matthew Roy, Cronkite News.